Hi. Today we'll compare the coding abilities of OpenAI's new O3 Mini model in Cursor versus using it in Windsurf. We'll also compare it with DeepSeek R1 and use Claude 3.5 Sonnet as a baseline towards the end of the video. Today's work item will be adding Supabase authentication to a football match prediction app. This is a real-world use case and will allow users to sign up, sign in, and reset their passwords in a 240,000 token code base. Windsurf recently added support for the open weights models from DeepSeek named R1 and DeepSeek V3. It also added support for the new OpenAI reasoning model, O3 Mini. Cascade can use all of them. Cursor also added support for DeepSeek R1 and V3, but currently you can only use their multi-file editing feature, Composer, with OpenAI and Anthropic models, which is a bummer for sure. Cursor is also launching O3 Mini for free, so users can provide feedback. We'll see how it does. Windsurf basically made the same announcement as Cursor, but introduced a much better feature because DeepSeek R1 can be used with Cascade and not with Cursor's Composer. Let's start by using Cursor with O3 Mini to add the authentication to the app. They didn't disclose the reasoning effort they use, but it will be clear after the test. Let's add to the prompt that the UI should look clean and that elements should not overlap. Let's paste the prompt and tell Cursor to use the web search tool. This allows the model to use the latest API documentation. I always use the agent mode in Cursor because it automatically applies diffs and executes some terminal commands on my behalf. O3 Mini doesn't show its chain of thought, so the time to the first token takes a bit of time at times. It is extremely fast for a reasoning model though. It seems to have created an auth component as expected. Let's see if it was able to add it to the app. It's done. Let's accept all changes and test it out. We get an import error, which is unexpected for a model of this stature. That's an extra prompt attempt or shot. Let's select the error and add it to Composer so it can fix it. This feature from Cursor to add an error directly from the terminal to Composer is great and is still missing in Windsurf. Now O3 Mini is outputting code which is not formatted nor indented. I wonder if it's a Cursor issue or O3 Mini issue. It says, I'll proceed with these file creations, but doesn't proceed with the file changes. I see it learned to make empty promises from some developers. Let's tell it to proceed. Let's also increase the speed to 3x, because it takes a while to think, but is extremely fast when responding, which is how normal humans operate, to be honest. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, it's done. Let's test it. It didn't add any sign up or sign in UI elements. This is very surprising. Let's try the auth endpoint it mentioned. It gives an application error. Cursor and O3 Mini don't work, even after multiple tries. I suggest not giving an AI coding tool more than 60% of the time it would take you to write the code yourself. As I mentioned before, if you try out Cursor's Composer with DeepSeek R1, you'll see that it's not yet compatible. Cursor only supports models from OpenAI and Anthropic. On the other side of the review is Windsurf, which is $15 for the Pro version. I'm charged $10 because I subscribed to Windsurf in its early stages. Cursor is still $20. I'm going to resubscribe so I can test it for you guys. I had moved over to Cursor. I still believe that Cursor and Windsurf are moody. They perform well on certain days, and some days they don't. I don't have such mood swings in Aider. Let's copy our Supabase prompt into Cascade. Let's also tell it to use the web search tool. The context list UI is not so intuitive when zoomed in, so selecting from a long list is annoying. Again, O3 Mini has a long time to first token because it doesn't expose the reasoning tokens. Here's the issue we also experienced in Cursor. O3 Mini just says, it's going to implement something, but does not. This isn't looking good for O3 Mini in both Cursor and Windsurf. Let's manually tell it to proceed.
It placed the files in the incorrect folder, which is surprising. Let's give it the correct directory of the React app. Okay, it's thinking. They should seriously consider exposing the thinking tokens in the API like DeepSeek R1 does. This is a bad user experience. Even in ChatGPT itself, they only show summaries of the thinking. Again, we have to manually tell it to proceed. It's very clear that the integration of O3 Mini isn't refined for both Cursor and Windsurf. Let's test it out. We get an error. Let's paste the error into Cascade and let it fix it. Okay, that was a quick fix which fixed the error. Great progress. We now have a sign up page which looks like it was developed by a toddler and doesn't conform to the app's theme. Let's test the sign up flow. No errors, and the sign up API call produced an HTTP 200. Great. We received the model response from Supabase, including the newly created user's unique identifier. If we check in Supabase, we can see that the user is indeed created, but not verified. If we check the user's email inbox, we can see the verification email from Supabase. If we confirm the sign-up, it will redirect us to our app with our access token. The access token is used to log in. If we switch to the mobile version, we see that the login is indeed successful, but the font color is the same as the background color. If we use dev tools and change the font color to black, then we can see the logged in user's email address. If we refresh users in Supabase, then we'll see that our new user has now been email verified. While Windsurf's O3 mini integration is better than Cursor's integration, it's still not the greatest experience. If we test signing out, we can see that it works and redirects users to the sign-in page. Let's test invalid credentials. That also works. Then signing in again also works without changing our already existing functionality. Next, we'll test DeepSeek R1 with Windsurf. Let's give it the exact same prompt. Immediately we see a big difference between R1 and O3 Mini. We have a stream of the thinking R1 does, which is a great developer experience since you don't have to wait for the first token. Also, the disclosed R1 thinking is so much more human-like and detailed than O3 Mini's version in ChatGPT. R1 doesn't natively support tool calling, so the Windsurf team implemented a version of their own. The implementation is complete, let's test it. Unfortunately, it produced a null reference error. Let's give it the error to fix. After the second try, we see that it added the signed in user's email, but destroyed the mobile footer. It also ignored the theme we have in place. The sign out functionality works. Okay, that works flawlessly. The top navigation bar also doesn't look good and doesn't look like our theme at all. If we check the user ID against Supabase, we'll see that they match. Now for the thrilling part, using the same prompt with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Let's reset the Git branch to start off clean. Windsurf is letting us know that it has now integrated the dangerous terminal auto-execution. We're definitely switching it on. Let's test the output. 
It works with one shot. The king doesn't seem to be dethroned yet. Claude 3.5 Sonnet still wins in Windsurf and will produce a similar result in Cursor. Claude Sonnet is very good, but most tools are optimized to work well with it. Sonnet kept the theme and implemented all the requirements in one shot in Windsurf. So for this coding test, the winner between OpenAI's O3 Mini, DeepSeek R1, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet is Claude. The IDE winner is Windsurf because it supports R1 and had a working version with O3 Mini after two shots. We'll perform other tests so we determine the most consistent winner. It took Claude 3.5 Sonnet about a minute and a half to implement this feature. The total costs are $20 for Cursor and $15 for Windsurf. In terms of usage in Windsurf, I use 12 user prompt credits and 23 flow action credits for this review, including the failed O3 mini tests. Subscribe to the channel for more AI coding reviews so you use the best AI tools. Feel free to stay and see how the implementation goes in Cursor with 3.5 Sonnet. You can use the thanks button to support the channel.